What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Got a little bit of a technical one here. We are going to be comparing two filler rods, ER70 S2 and ER70 S6. If you've ever wondered the differences between these two fillers when going to purchase one like I have, hopefully this video will clear some of that up. I have both fillers here from Blue Demon, who is the sponsor of today's video. If you want to check out Blue Demon fillers, they have all kinds of consumables, uh, TIG rod, MIG rod, MIG wire, stick rod, and uh, consumables. We have Blue Demon Multi-Mix 332nd Tungsten in our torch, hooked up to the Fronius TransTIG 210, and that's what we're going to be using to do all of our testing. Now. The differences between these can get a little technical if you look at the spec sheets. The big differences are ER70 S2 is a triple deoxidized wire, which means it contains zirconium, titanium, and aluminum. And that's supposed to help it weld over rust or a little bit of mill scale left on. Um, I have these eighth inch blanks here we're gonna be doing our testing on. So we'll definitely be testing with the mill scale still on, maybe just barely clean it off. And uh, we'll probably do a fillet weld like this. One clean, one dirty with both rods, see how they compare. The 70S6 has higher amounts of manganese and silicone, which means it's supposed to flow better, wet down better. Um, since the S2 does not have that high level of silicone, the puddle is supposed to freeze up a little bit better. So that might be better for out of position or overhead. So we'll do a corner joint, a vertical corner joint with each one of these to see how the puddle flows. And the S6 in one of the sheets I read said it's supposed to be better for poor fit ups. Both of these rods are made for a variety of welding on mild and carbon steels. So other than those small differences, I'm not sure if you could tell which one you grabbed if they weren't labeled, but we're gonna find out in our testing. So let's get into welding. Okay, I've cleaned up all the pieces, took the mill scale off of the majority of them. We're gonna start off with the fillet weld. You can see it's got a nice clean surface there now. I hit it with a 50 grit to take the mill scale off and then went back over it with a Scotch-Brite wheel. On this one, all I did was hit it with the Scotch-Brite wheel, which really did nothing. So this one has majority of the mill scale on it. So these are the two we're gonna be comparing on how well each different filler welds over some mill scale. I'm gonna get everything tacked together and then we'll start running our tests. All right, starting off with weld number one, this is the fillet weld where all of the mill scale has been cleaned off. So this is really an ideal welding situation. The 90 degree fillet usually ends up with a pretty nice looking weld because it helps trap all the gas in there, makes a nice shiny pretty weld. Uh, I honestly don't know if I could tell the difference if you just handed me one of these rods, I don't know if I could tell you which is which. I know because I looked, but on the right I'm welding with the 70S2 and on the left is the 70S6. And looking back after the weld, I can tell on the right the puddle has a little bit sharper of an edge on the back side, and the one on the left looks slightly softer. But other than that, I don't really tell that much of a difference. Now moving on to the dirty steel fillet weld. This is where pretty much all of the mill scale has been on here. This is a very not ideal weld. Uh, this is cold rolled steel, so it has a pretty heavy mill scale on here, and honestly, um, the, the S2 on the right is flowing okay, uh, builds up, plenty of crap being pulled out of the weld. And then same thing on the left, I don't know, it wasn't really much easier.
As you can see, looking at the final weld, both fillers floated plenty of the impurities to the top, which is never something you're going for. Now for the outer corner joint welding vertically, the S2 seems to weld a little bit nicer. Uh, it pulls and kind of hardens up and supports your weld as you're going up. This is an awkward position trying to weld around the camera. I'm kind of side feeding the rod here. And then on the S6, um, just, just drips a little bit more, but not that much noticeable of a difference. Very slightly more runny uh, bead, I guess it's making. The final result kind of ends up about the same. Welding up the seam is kind of awkward for me no matter what, so it's not the greatest looking weld. If I was going to weld something like this, I would prefer to lay it down if it's possible, but if not, and you did have to weld up the seam, I think the S2 is a little bit easier to deal with. And now for the bad fit up weld. I just laid two pieces of steel on top of each other and then kind of rocked one up. Kind of like if, uh, I don't know, if you had two big pieces of steel and you just could not get it to rock down because of whatever reason. Maybe it was some big structure or big uh, piece of equipment or whatever the reason is. You just can't get them to lay flat, so you kind of have to weld this gap up. Also, not an ideal weld, but just wanted to see how each of them performed. The S2 seems to be stacking up pretty nicely, uh, gets good connection. You can just easily cool it and move on. Pretty easily fills the gap. On the left is the 70S6. Uh, it does a pretty good job too. That was the one I talked about I read that it could do poor fit ups better. But uh, other than maybe flowing into the gap a little bit more than the S2, uh, the S2 is easier in my opinion to weld with. The S6 seems to eat away at the steel more and doesn't really fill it in. It kind of runs away from the spots that are being burnt out. Now for which one gives you a uh, better strength on this type of weld, I don't know. You have to do some kind of testing for that. So which filler do you need to buy? Well, just like everything else, it depends. But in my opinion, the 70S2 seemed to weld a lot nicer. The uh, 70S6 does flow down a little bit more, which kind of makes it more difficult in certain situations. I didn't particularly notice a difference as much when welding over the mill scale if one performed better than the other one. The S6 maybe had a slight advantage in that case, but uh, definitely when we were going uphill or filling the gap, the uh, S2 and the way the puddle locks together a little bit better seems to just make it a little bit easier to weld. Uh, if you want to see more of a comparison on S2 versus S6, the first video I saw about it was Jody at Welding Tips and Tricks. So if you want to hear his opinion, I'll leave a link to his video down below. Thank you again to Blue Demon for sponsoring this video, providing the filler rod, the tungsten that we use, as well as the Blue Demon panel welding hood. If you want to see more of my videos, well one, there's this one right here. That's the one YouTube thinks you might be interested in. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.